what's going on crypto cousins it's your bitcoin baby daddy here with another episode so today what we're going to be talking about is how to convert your die into x die using metamask so that way you can get onto the honey swap protocol and check it out um but if you're new here go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button because i'm making content every day this month y'all know what it is 30 31 day challenge i'm not even gonna hold you guys let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing that i did personally um i didn't have any die in, a, in one of my wallets so i had to come here to curve and curve is just one of the places where you can do um stable coin exchanges and you can do like one for one swaps with very low slippage i traded some usdc for some die so that way we can go ahead and experiment with the whole situation so the next thing you want to do is go to the xdiechain.com and the, what you want to do is go right here to these um you want to go here to the left and you want to hit metamask setup and you want to click on that and the setup is pretty easy it's essentially just like how um if you have a token and metamask doesn't recognize it it's almost the same way except um this time you're going to just do a completely different um rpc or whatever Usually when you're just doing a token, you're still on the Ethereum mainnet. Well, this one, we're trying to go to the, the side chain of, you know, Ethereum. So we're going to go ahead and go through it. So right here it says in the custom RPC settings, add the XDI network details and click save. So we're going to go ahead and click on MetaMask. We're going to go ahead click, we're going to go over here and click on MetaMask. And then we're going to go over here and click custom RPC. Literally has everything that you need. Network name, network RPC URL, chain ID, symbol, and block explorer URL. So it has everything you need right here. Now, only problem I have is um, when you click un unclick off of it, it just like disappears and whatnot. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, um, I typed everything in because if you're trying to go back and forth and copy paste, it doesn't really work out that way. So I typed everything in just to see. Now let's go ahead and hit save. Boom. And there we go. Now we have the X die chain added to... Um, everything because you know we got you know the ethereum main nap we got all these little test nets and whatnot and now we have x die so now the next thing you want to do is so there's a whole nother column here where it says move die to x die and then moving x die to die essentially right here is this new token bridge that you want to click on so for this token bridge the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're connected to the ethereum main net and once you're on the ethereum main net it'll see it'll show right here the amount of die you have so we're gonna go ahead and convert um, all of the die into X die. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just copy this, paste that here, transfer. It just right here, just gonna say you wanna confirm your die from Ethereum mainnet to the X die chain. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And now we're just waiting on the blocks to confirm. Let's see how long this actually takes. We have a successful transaction. So now you can see here, I don't have any X, uh, I don't have any die in my Ethereum mainnet but I should have some X die um, on the X die chain. So now let me go ahead and switch to X die chain. And it says right here, so I'm right here on the X die chain. Let's change the MetaMask and let's change to the X die chain. And boom, right here on MetaMask, you see right here, we have the, the damn near almost $500 in X die. So you go, of course you guys, we see we're here over here on HoneySwap. Now, when you connect to HoneySwap, you wanna make sure that you're on the X die chain you want to make sure you're on the XDAI chain. So when you connect your wallet, so once you connect your wallet, your wallet can see you have X amount of XDAI and you can make a trade. Of course, from here on honeyswap.info, of course, everything looks just like Uniswap because, um, you know, it's all forked and whatnot. But um, what I want to see is how much volume and liquidity is on this. Now, um, just looking at the liquidity, the total liquidity, there's almost about $6 million worth of liquidity. Now, just uh just to give you some perspective, if you have altcoins that are $6 million in market cap, this protocol has $6 million in it total. So I just want to let you guys know like the risks that you're taking in a sense of, you know, if you were buying a very low market cap coin, that's like $5 million, you're taking a very big risk. You testing out this product is like taking a very big risk because um, this is just like so, so small liquidity. But of course, it's when something like this that has small liquidity that grows into big liquidity is where um, majority of the gains happen. And the reason why I'm even testing this out is because we saw so many high fees during the DeFi summer boom that um, I can see in the future devs like coming over the honey swap and swapping liquidity there so that way they can get lower fees. And even though a um, majority of main people won't do the whole process of coming through here, switching to the XGI chain and whatnot, devs, they don't care. They're, they're gonna do the process because that's just what they wanna do. 
And so I can see that happening in a sense. Um, let me go ahead and switch back to this. Um, we can go ahead and see everything here that's going um, on. So you can see right here, you got honey, um, wrapped X die, steak. We got, you can even get steak on here. That's pretty dope. Um, buy down on X chime, moons, bricks, all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get, get me some honey and I'm gonna get me some steak. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and trade 250 X die for 0.23 honey, which all right, cool. It looks like honey's like, I guess the price of honey is like a thousand dollars. Let me go ahead and swap this. And it works just like um, Uniswap. And it's look look at the price look at the gas fee guys it's like so low if this was one dollar this is point 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 five five six of a dollar so let's go ahead and get that so it looks like that transaction confirmed i'm gonna go ahead and get me some steak and i'm gonna go ahead and do 150. all right boom that transaction is done too so now you've seen me go ahead and make two trades on honey swap um it wasn't faster than ethereum and the fees were cheaper for a fact the fees were definitely cheaper um but it wasn't much faster it, it didn't seem like it was any faster than ethereum but i guess that's the whole point of coming over here so you can get less fees so you can go ahead and operate um i can i still feel like this is like still early and they still have some kinks to work out but it worked so that's good now granted with honey swap you can also provide liquidity just like you can do with uniswap you know you go through the whole um you just got to remember all the whole in permanent loss and how that works out and if the amount of money you're putting in and the amount of fees that you're on accruing will um, make up for that impermanent loss over time but um that's all really i got for you guys today let me know in the comments what's the next thing you want me to try out because i'm pretty much down to try out any DeFi product look at it test it out and just let you guys know what i think of it but other than that check me out next time take it easy peace yeah